Elon Musk's City of the Future. Shoot for the moon even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Oscar Wilde. If there is one person who has taken this quote way too literal, it has to be the business magnate Elon Musk. The billionaire walks, talks, sleeps, and dreams of the future. In one of his many plans is a city that he thinks we will have in 10 to 20 years. Let's take a virtual tour of Elon Musk's city of the future. First things first, the Tesla CEO is dying to make transport systems better. Musk talks about his evolutionary plans for a 3D network of underground tunnels to alleviate traffic congestion. Traffic affects people all over the world, and it takes away so much of your life, he explains. The tunnel system will make the average person get from Westwood to Los Angeles International Airport in five to six minutes. Even though one tunnel may relatively reduce traffic from surface streets, it is likely to be congested again in the long run. So what's his solution? More layers of tunnels under the ground. There's no real limit to the levels of layers of tunnels. You can go as deep as you can, Musk concludes. If you didn't think the idea of random cars flying above your head was terrible enough, Musk offers some scientific disadvantages. I am a big fan of rockets. I don't have anything against flying things. They will be quite noisy, and the wind force generator will be very high, he says. On the other hand, the tunnel system is expected to be faster than the world's fastest bullet train. To eliminate the concern of having this dramatic infrastructure under our houses, Musk explains that the Earth is incredibly good at absorbing vibrations. There's no real limit. You can dig as much as you want. If you go deep enough, you cannot detect the tunnel even if it is a high-density area. If the tunnel is dug more than three or four tunnel diameters beneath your house, you won't be able to detect it. Musk speaks about his tunneling company, The Boring Company. He says that it takes only 3-4% to of his time. He explains that most people working there are actually trainees and part-timers. Musk claims, I'm fairly confident that Tesla electric cars will be able to do that route even if you change it dynamically. They have already begun to experiment with models for this car and yes, it drives all by itself. Musk's plans do not just stop at cars. He literally aims for the roof. He speaks of the solar brick houses which externally look like standard bricks. They resemble the bricks typically used on the roofs of most American suburban houses. He expects that in the future, all American homes will be using solar power in their roofs in some way. Just when you think things couldn't get any crazier, Musk speaks about his SpaceX rocket. When grilled on his quest to build a city on Mars, the billionaire answered, it's important to have a future that is both inspiring and appealing. A future that includes being out there among the stars. He finds it entirely depressing to not have a future like this. He considers it as not only a backup plan for humanity, but also a beacon of hope for humanity. Musk plans to merge two of his company, Tesla and Solar City. By combining the two, the intention is to bring together Tesla's power storage technology with Solar City's panels, or, as he put it in the master plan, create stunning solar roofs with seamlessly integrated battery storage. These solar roofs will not just be a module on the existing roof, but act as the roof itself, and they will inevitably be operating in conjunction with Tesla Powerwall the home battery designed to charge from solar during the day, then power your home during the evening. Ultimately, the intention seems to be for Tesla slash Solar City equipped houses to go off grid, achieving a net zero energy rating in which their consumption is only as much as their production. In Musk's words, the point of all this was and remains accelerating the advent of sustainable energy so that we can imagine far into the future and life is still good. That's what sustainable means, and it's not some silly hippie thing, it matters for everyone. Musk is in the energy game on multiple fronts, but it's the way he's applying it at Tesla that is perhaps most relevatory. We already knew that Tesla planned to expand its product line and that it was working on autonomous vehicles. A notch higher, people will soon be able to fly from city to city within minutes. The car and rocket entrepreneur believes. He told the audience in a past event that he intends to start sending people to Mars in 2024. His SpaceX company has started building the necessary ships to support the mission. He says he is refocusing SpaceX to work on just one type of vehicle, known as the BFR, 
which could do all of the firm's current work and the interplanetary travel. BFR would launch satellites and service the space station, as SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Dragon capsule do now, but also take people to the Moon and Mars and do what is termed point-to-point -point travel on Earth. Key to his thinking is the concept of reusability. Space activity is currently expensive only because it is disposable. There is no reason, he claims, why rocket systems cannot be made to operate like airliners, where the most significant ongoing cost is the fuel in the tanks. His Falcon 9 rocket is particularly reusable. The BFR would be totally reusable. The same vehicle would fly time and time again. There's something more than a little comic book about Elon Musk. His plans practically scream, I want to save the world. He was the partial basis for Robert Downey Jr.'s betrayal of Iron Man, and he has the money, intellect, and world-spanning plans of a supervillain. There is no doubt that this is a man that wants to change the world, and more importantly, a man who has the capability to. His success, however, could see control over our energy and driving needs placed mainly in the hands of one man. While his aims are undoubtedly impressive and almost indubitably for the good of the world, it's hard not to wonder if that kind of concentrated power is a good thing. Other big-name manufacturers are also getting into Tesla's market, whether with hybrids or pure electrics. Autonomy, too, isn't a project unique to the Tesla vehicles as everyone from Google to Mercedes has a stake in the technology. Meanwhile, SolarCity certainly isn't the only solar company out there, even if it may be one of the biggest. Both in the US and abroad, there are companies nipping at its heels. Furthermore, rivals aside, it is entirely possible that Musk's companies will implode long before their competitors get a chance at them. The Elon Musk future, then, is one in which entire communities, perhaps cities, are running off solar city panels and Tesla power walls. A future in which the roads swarm with a fleet of autonomous Tesla cars, earning money for their owners during the day and available to provide a lift at the touch of a button. The Hyperloop train carried passengers from Los Angeles to San Francisco in just 35 minutes. All his projects complement each other like puzzle pieces. What makes this ambitious businessman unique is not only his determination, but also his vision. The desire to do something exciting and to serve the greater good of humanity. However, Musk remains modest. He mentions that even though the value of being an inspiration is underrated, he does not consider himself such a hero for humanity. As he simply puts it, I am just trying to think about the future and not be sad. Do you think Elon Musk's idea will come to fruition? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and turn on post notifications.